Do you know that with just a few clicks you're able to create any kind of ice cream? It's easy, so let me show you how to create the fresh oranges sorbet. Now I show you the revolution in formulation from scratch. We have turned a complicated process into a simple puzzle. Our game begins with adding the basic ingredient of our gelato, oranges. So how much do I add? It doesn't matter, because from now on we no longer balance ingredients to 100% or 1000 grams. Just add the ingredients as you like and change their share watching in real time what will come out of it on the right side, as a result of combining ingredients. So, I could add 500, 700 or 200 grams, or even such an abstract value as 194, it just don't matter. Once I have one ingredient, I don't have to guess what add next. Instead, I look on the right side. And so, if we assume that orange juice was a ready-made ice cream mix, then at minus 13 Celsius our gelato would be super hard, it would have quite low sweetness and would give a very cold feeling in our mouth because of the small amount of solids and large amount of water. Ok, so what do we have to do first? First, let's try to increase the sweetness. So let's add sugar. How much? It doesn't matter, because in our app we operate according to the rule add and see what happens. So I add 100 grams of sugar. The sweetness jumped off the scale as did the scoopability slider. I reduce the amount of sugar with a minus button and watch what is happening on the right side. The sweetness starts to slowly decrease and the scoopability slider too, but beware. When the scoopability slider is already going towards hard ice cream, sweetness is still high. So what to do in that case? It's easy. That's a classic example of too sweet tea. Just add water. How much? Remember the rule? It doesn't matter. Let's add 100 and see how that works out for the whole thing. Hmm, it worked. Our gelato already has 20 sweetness points, so we are within the range. Only the scoopability is bad. So, we add dextrose, sugar that has less sweetness than our sucrose, but much greater anti-freezing power. And again, how much? Let's add 100 and check. Oops, that's definitely too much. We cut it to 50 grams. It's better, but still too much. I reduce it by clicking on the minus button. Well, the scoopability bar is highlighted in green, so all the parameters are correct. The question is, who will eat so sweet gelato? Let's try to reduce sweetness of our gelato by a few points by taking away the sugar and adding dextrose. Sweetness decreased as predicted and with it the scoopability. Well, let's fill the rest with dextrose. The scoopability slider is in the middle, but something is still wrong. Well, well, the water. We have too much water and not enough solids, so I add inulin, which will increase the amount of solids. How much? We don't need much, so let's try adding about 20 grams and see what happens. We have it. The bar turned green and the slider indicates that gelato will be scoopable. We also have a very pleasant sweetness and a sufficient amount of solids. We can say that the recipe is ready. The only thing is missing is a stabilizer that will prevent water molecules from merging into a larger ice particles after freezing. So let's add tarragon, a natural thickener. How much? Let's try adding 2 grams of it and see if that's enough. No, nope, it's too much though. Notice that we have an additional slider next to the ingredient itself, which is based on the amount of water contained in all our products. It precisely indicates how much of this product should be in our mix. With the minus button, I reduce the amount so the small slider is somewhere in a green field. And that's it. No complicated calculations, archaic Excel spreadsheet and most importantly, no magic powders for ice cream and flavoring pastes. Now it's time for a little bonus. How to quickly convert the recipe into a sugar-free keto sorbet? I turn off dextrose and sugar and add xylitol. How much? You already know, right? The slider has popped, so that's way too much. So I start reducing it and watch the sliders on the right side. Ok, scoopability is there, but we're missing of some solids. What can I add? A bit more inulin. One click, two, three, four, five and 
We're done. You just designed Keto Orange Sorbet. In the production tab, you can easily plan the production volume and print a label for this flavor with a list of ingredients, allergens, as well as nutritional values. Pretty cool, isn't it? Our software is a revolution in gelato world, so if you're interested in demo version, just let me know.